Hello and I'm back with one more framework that is DSDM. This is known as Dynamic Systems Development Method. And you must be wondering why so many frameworks? Why not only one framework and let us live with one framework only? The thing is, the reason behind so many frameworks is these all frameworks have been developed or formed by different industry leaders, different experts at different times, at different places, in different circumstances and they have got benefited from these frameworks and these are the proven frameworks. And when they got benefited from those frameworks, they have shared their framework with other industry leaders other organizations and they have made their frameworks popular and since many of these frameworks got popularity by uh, few decades then what has happened is there was a dilemma in within the industry like which is the framework should i be using that is the reason the founders of these all frameworks they came together in 2001 and they thought and they made a declaration that these all frameworks will be based on a single methodology that is a common methodology called Agile and they formed Agile Manifesto. So these all methodologies are based on Agile Manifesto. These all frameworks are based on Agile Methodology or Agile Manifesto. Yeah, so let us look at DSDM. DSDM was formed in around 1994 and uh, the reason behind coming up with DSDM framework is in those times the teams were following rapid application development process but teams were not implementing those processes diligently. So as to standardize those processes, those leaders, they thought that we should have some framework which will standardize the processes, the development processes. So they came up with a framework called DSDM. And these are the practices that we follow in DSDM that is facilitated workshops, modeling and iterative development. Facilitated workshops are some structured meetings in which the teams, they come up with uh, really brilliant ideas and they will be able to work towards it. Modeling and iterative development is like which is similar to the iterative development is similar to scrum but modeling is quite different. Modeling means you have to come up with a model right in the initial stage and then you should work towards developing the product with subsequent iterations. So and the third practice is MUSCO prioritization. MUSCO is, it stands for must have, should have, could have and wouldn't have. So based on these categories, you will be prioritizing your requirements and that is how your development team is going to work towards developing a product. And uh, it is all it also follows iterative development or time boxing which is similar to scrum but there are few practices which are quite different and you might have observed few of the practices are common between these frameworks like uh, continuous improvement is common between XP and Lean and even uh, in continuous integration is one of the practice which is common between XP and scrum. So there are few of the practices which are common between these frameworks so but uh, it is always uh, recommended that you use at least one of these frameworks or you may use multiple frameworks together. And here you can see the DSDM model in which initially the team will be conducting a feasibility study and uh, they will be exploring and coming up with some solutions. And they will be developing the product or the first small part of the product and they will be deploying it. And they will be seeking feedback from the customer or the end users and that is how they are going to evolve the product. So these will continue with multiple iterations and finally a product will be developed by following this iterative approach. 
so this is all about dsdm or dynamic system development method and this method is mostly used for large projects with large teams and not for small teams because here uh, there are certain principles some certain practices which you really need to implement in a diligent manner yeah and uh, yeah so dsdm has is proven to be uh, beneficial for large projects so that is the reason it is used mostly for large projects yeah so this is all about dsdm framework yep so we'll meet in our next session and we'll study fdd which is the last framework yeah i hope you are not tired you are not bored by now and that is the reason i'm keeping these all things simple clear and crisp and short so that you will not get bored and you will also get an idea what actually this framework is and how this framework is related to agile and why so many frameworks yeah see you in the next video until then bye